Hey guys, Brett here, and today I'm going to tell you an unfortunate truth. Google hates squeeze pages. You know, you don't have to take my word for it. Try it out for yourself. Go over to google.com right now and search for any keyword or any phrase that you want. Take a look and see how often a squeeze page is number one or even on the first page of the search results. Guess what the answer is? Yep, you're right. Never. A squeeze page is never in the top results for any search term. The simple fact is Google doesn't like squeeze pages. Squeeze pages are one page with very little content that go against everything that SEO tells us we should do to get high rankings. So what does this mean for us as internet marketers? Well, simply it means that we are missing out on the best free traffic source that anyone can get. Let's face it, the only real free traffic you're ever going to get is from Google and the search engines. If we are not getting ranked by Google and the search engines, if our pages are not showing up in the top search results, then we are missing out on hundreds of signups each and every month. And let me tell you something, if you are looking to make money online, you need to be building your email list. Your email list is your business. It is the lifeblood of your business. You cannot afford to be missing out on hundreds of free signups each month. Fancy Forms was designed to be your one-stop list building solution. To provide multiple ways to build your list, utilize the search engines, and look like a real professional. Fancy Forms lets you make awesome opt-in forms. You see, the problem is, most people are not programmers. The only option they have to put opt-in forms on their web pages or on their site or wherever they want to capture an email is to use the opt-in form builders that the autoresponders provide. And quite frankly, the opt-in forms that the autoresponders provide are ugly and unprofessional. Fancy Forms also lets you put pop-ups on your website. And these pop-ups have advanced features that are designed to capture the emails of anyone who visits your site. Things like on-exit pop-ups, timed pop-ups, and split testing. You can also create two-step opt-ins with Fancy Forms. A lot of people have reported that two-step opt-ins quite simply convert better than regular opt-in forms. Fancy Forms allows you to create two-step opt-ins in seconds. Normally, when you find a software, it does one of these things. Fancy Forms does all of them and much, much more. Let me show you the software and you can see exactly how it works. So here I am. I'm on the Fancy Forms dashboard. I've just logged into my account. And you can see I actually have a couple of opt-ins that I made for testing. And I actually have one that I made the other day for my own website. And I just put this on one page of my website, one of the older pages just to see if I can get a couple of opt-ins from it from random traffic. And you can actually see I've gotten 13 opt-ins already uh, and it has only been four days. And uh, yeah, I'm getting three a day on average and today it looks like I'm getting four opt-ins so far today, uh, which isn't bad. I mean, that's 125 opt-ins a month for free. I'm not doing anything. I just, you know, all I did was put the opt-in on my page and uh, the random traffic that's coming from Google are, is getting me emails for absolutely nothing. And if I had several of these, I can be building a lot more opt-ins as well. So I'm definitely going to be adding more of these to my own website as well. So let me show you, though, how to make an opt-in and how to do some of the integrations with Fancy Forms. So to get started, I'm going to click on the Create New button. And I'm going to enter a name. And I'll just call this uh, another test because... Uh, it's just a test one to show you. Once I build my opt-in, I'm going to click on the edit button and it's going to take me into the drag and drop editor. Now I have a thing for drag and drop systems. I find the drag and drop interface to be the simplest and it's what I like to use when I build my software is fully drag and drop. So to start off with what you're going to see here is your opt-in right here, which is just a blank box at this point and your generic form. We give you a generic form to start off with and of course you can move it around however you want. On the right hand side is where your options are where you can start customizing the look and feel of your form. So I'm going to click on the form there and you can see in here is where 
I can set things like the font size, the input font size, the padding, the border thickness, the border color. It's fully customizable and I can adjust it to the way that I want by using the sliders or entering in the text here. I can edit the colors with the color box very simply. And in this way, I can build a custom, good-looking form that's going to be the way I want it, not some generic form that's being provided by an autoresponder. I can also customize the button itself, which is the sign-up button here, to be any way that I want, simply by adjusting the sliders again. I could also customize the pop-up itself, which is this right here. And of course, this is only if I'm going to use the pop-up option or the two-step option. And this was really cool. You know, we can build a form this way. We can build a pop-up this way. We can build a two-step opt-in this way. We do have the drag-and-drop widgets as well. So you can drag and drop and upload an image to put inside of your opt-in. You can use any of the clip arts that we provide. You can add your own text if you want. You can add a color box if you want, even a YouTube video. And that was great, but I'm well aware that most people don't have the ability to create a beautiful looking opt-in on their own. Quite simply, I don't have the ability. I just don't have the artistic talent, and most other people don't have it as well. So I got with my designer, Josh Catherman, and I had him create a bunch of beautiful templates that we can quickly integrate. So you go ahead and click on the templates button. We'll load up the preview. And what you can see here is there are 30 gorgeously designed templates that we can quickly use to make beautiful, professional quality opt-ins. So I, I like this one here. Uh, I'm just going to click on this one. And that quick, we have a top-notch opt-in form. Now we can use this as a pop-up on our website. We can use this to put directly inside of a sales page. We can also use this for a two-step opt-in, whatever we want. And of course, it's fully drag and drop, so you can customize it incredibly simply. Right click on a widget to edit it. Left click and drag on a widget to move it. You can go over here to the auto section. You can integrate your autoresponder. We support directly MailChimp, GetResponse, and AWeber. And of course, if you're using one of the other popular autoresponders, we save and CSV so that you can always upload it to any other autoresponder you like. When you're all done, just click the Save button. Head back to the dashboard. And then I'm going to click the Code button next. Now this is going to ask me what kind of opt-in I want. And you can see there's actually a couple of different ones. I can click the standard form embed. And by doing this, this is going to give me code that's just going to put that opt-in form wherever I paste it. So if I paste it in a WordPress blog, it's going to put the opt-in directly in there. If I paste it in a, a page that I've made, an HTML page, or if you're using the Squeezomatic system, you could paste it in there. And it's going to put your opt-in right in there as you have seen it inside of the editor. I can also create two-step opt-ins. By two-step opt-ins is where people click on a button and then the opt-in opens up in a light box. Now that is great if you're putting it inside of your blog. Additionally, I can create a two-step opt-in and leave out the button and that way I have a pop-up. There's also a more advanced features. If I choose, I can add auto open code. So if I'm using a two-step opt-in, I can add this auto open code as well. And again, this will work on any website, including WordPress. You can put this right inside of your WordPress posts. I add the auto open code. And that way, at a set interval that I choose, the pop-up will open as if somebody had clicked the two-step opt-in button. Same thing with the optional on exit code. I can add that. And what this will do is actually detect when somebody is moving the mouse up towards the navigation bar. That way, when that it is detected, we know that they're either going to type something into the navigation bar, click the back button, they're going to leave the page because they've gotten up outside of the window into the navigation area. So we can trigger the pop-up, trigger the two-step opt-in, and try to capture them before they leave real quick. And that is a great way to capture email addresses. Building an extremely robust list building software just wasn't enough for me. I wanted to give more. 
So what I did was added step-by-step -step training that shows you exactly how I get hundreds and sometimes thousands of free hits to my blog every single month. And you're going to be able to get excellent Google rankings as well as free traffic to your site, which you can then use this software to convert into signups and add them to your email list. The normal price of Fancy Forms for an unlimited lifetime membership is $67. However, as a special discount, you can get your unlimited membership without ever having to pay a monthly fee for the one-time price of just $19. This is a limited time offer though. It will expire. If you miss out on it, you will not get offered it again. For this low price, you get the entire package, unlimited use, unlimited sites, unlimited opt-ins, and the free training bonus. Click below to get started right now.